Hi and welcome to this video lesson. Today we're going to talk about determiners. So, a determiner is something that goes before a noun and it tells us what it is, where it is, who it belongs to and how much or how many there are of it. So we can divide them down into four groups and in the videos that follow we'll take each group in turn and give a more detailed explanation for you okay so we have the article first with a and or the or the <coughs> a and an <coughs> normally depend upon whether the noun starts with a vowel or a consonant. Now, you have to be very careful with this because they don't always follow that strict rules, uh, <coughs> that strict rule. So, what you've got to be aware of is the beginning of the word could sound like it starts with a consonant. So, for any normal vowel starting words, we use an. So, an elephant, an apple for example, or for a, a chair, a table. Where it becomes confusing is with the likes of, let's say, unicorn. Notice that unicorn sounds like it starts with a Y. So we would say a unicorn, not an unicorn. So there are a couple of things that you've got to be aware of there. So we use a or an to first say what the noun is. Then we can repeat it with the. So for example, let's say I have a chair in my classroom. The chair is grey. So I can use the because we now know already what noun we are talking about. Next, we move on to demonstratives. So a demonstrative shows me more or less the place of where something is. So we use words like this and that. So <coughs> this for something close, that for something further away. This shirt, that shirt, for example. And then when we have plurals or multiples, we change this and that to these and those. These sunglasses, those sunglasses. So we know exactly <coughs> what we're talking about in relation to where it is. Next we come on to possessives. Who owns the noun? Who owns it? His dog, our dog, my dog, their dog, etc. Okay, so who actually owns the item? And finally, we come on to one of the segments where we can demonstrate how many there are of it. So, we use words like a few, some, a number like six or five, or even no, or you know, as in there isn't any. So, these words depend on whether the noun is countable or uncountable. Again, we'll be doing a video all about countable and uncountable nouns and whether we use a few, some, or <clears throat> many, or much, okay? So, it's a bit more complicated than that, but today, at least now we know what a determiner is. It's a word that goes in front of the noun so that we can put together the quantity, the owner, the owner of it, and the specificity, okay, where it is and which one we're talking about um, exactly. So, I hope you've enjoyed this quick class and video. As always, please click like, make a comment, and subscribe to the channel so that you're up to date with all the upcoming videos. And I'll see you in the next video in class. Bye-bye.